I'm Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Healing Path. Um, and a lot of my clients have been asking me some questions about skincare. Now, I am not a skincare expert. I more consider my expertise to be in how the lymphatic system interacts with our skincare, being a lymphatic drainage therapist. But here, I want to explain some of the things that I do and tools that I like to help with my lymphatic system. Now, this is not a video where we all, I also do cupping on my face, and this video is not about that. I have so many videos about that, and that's just too much. So we'll just, just talking basic skincare here at this point. So um, I will say that looking through lots and lots of other experts, and what they advise and playing around with my own skin. This is what I have found to be super effective. But of course, everyone has different skincare issues. My skincare issues are sensitivity to the sun, especially spending many, many hours in the sun on my adventures or riding my bike 100 miles. I started getting a lot of sun damage. Another issue with my skin is I tend to get lymphatic stagnation. So this could be I feel extra fluid here or me getting sinus pressure and stuff like that. So those are my two issues with my skin. You may have a completely different issue, but hopefully some of this information will be helpful. So I'm getting a lot of questions on this guy. So this is a roller. Um, it's supposed to help. This one vibrates. It's supposed to help uh, with lymphatic drainage, that you do a lymphatic drainage massage with it. So I tossed this guy out and tried this for a while, and I'm still a fan of this guy. So first I'll describe what each one does and how it does it differently. So let's say I'm in my, when did I usually use it? See, I, I'm going to switch here. I'll talk about this guy in the morning and this guy in the evening. So in the morning, I'm very much a fan of, Cassandra talks about your skin is clean, you know, you, you couldn't, didn't get dirty while sleeping, you don't need to wash your skin in the morning. So I no longer wash my face in the morning. I have my toner, which is witch hazel with some essential oils. I spray my face, um, and then I like to use this guy. Now, for lymphatic drainage, I do some circles here. This is a skin brush for your face. Do some circles here on my two main lymphatic ducts, and then your lymphatic drainage goes here, and your neck goes here. So under your chin goes here, and then it goes down. So that's my main areas where I hold on to a lot of fluid. So I go over, down, over, down, over, down. And then I might just kind of go right across. Um, and I find that doing this has a huge impact on my lymphatic of my neck and kind of getting out that extra fluid that likes to hang around on my neck. Um, now, when I do it on my face, I probably only do it once a week because the person doing my facial is saying she was noticing some scratching. So if my skin's dry at any point, I don't want to do this across my face because I'm more likely to get scratches. But think of a line down the center of your face. You're going to go to your ear. So three, six, whatever you want to do to the ear. And then down your throat again. Now, like I said, when I do this, I see a huge difference in my skin. This is also a mild exfoliator, so I do toner. But this before or after toner, as long as your face is dry. And then I have this Josie Marin Vitamin C Serum. Do four drops of that. I know I'm really bad. I'm supposed to be dabbing, right? Dab, dab, dab. And then I love her Protect and Perfect, and actually I have her Protect and Perfect and Radiance on the way that I can't wait to try. Because for me, skin care uh, for the sun is really important, and I want to make sure my skin is protected even when um, I am not going to be spending tons of time in the sun, but still going for just dog walks. And it's a moisturizer, and it's an SPF. It's a zinc oxide SPF. So that's really important to me because I don't want a chemical sunscreen. This is a sun black, which means it reflects the sun off my skin instead of absorbing the rays. It's a lot more healthier for your skin and um, it doesn't have a lot of really harsh chemicals in it. And it's an SPF of 47 and it's a tinted moisturizer as well. So it just gives me a little bit of nice coverage. So that's it. Like that's my morning routine. 
Now you could throw this one in the morning as well. So not only do you, would you do it the same way, turn down the vibrator, come down the throat. I always start, go from throat, base, back to throat. You wanna make sure all the lymphatic is open of the neck first, going off to the side. Now the difference with this one is the vibration helps product go into the skin better. So that's one benefit of this that the other guy doesn't have, other benefit being it's still my hair, is that this doesn't help product absorb into the skin. It's an exfoliator and lymphatic drainage. This guy helped product go in and lymphatic drainage, right? But I don't, didn't notice as dramatic of results using this one when it came to the swelling that I tend to hold on to uh, in my face. Again, then you just do the face, roll it out. And it can help those serums and things get deeper into the skin. Now this one also, it's also very cooling to the skin. Now this one has this thing right here and this is for under the eye. If I were to keep this, this one's my borrowing from my mom so I could test it out. I probably would like it best for the under eye because it's nice and cooling, which can help with bags. And again, if I'm putting a serum around my eyes, it can help that serum go deeper into the skin and hopefully help these wrinkles that I'm getting as I'm getting closer to 40 now. <laughs> so that's this one. So personally, if I were to compare this to this, I like this better. I think it does better for the lymphatic system, but if you're concern is wanting product to get deeper into the skin, then this guy is great. Now, my nighttime routine. I also like it really simple. Now, this is Dr. Bonner's soap mixed with water and essential oils that I use to wash my hands. I also use this to wash my face. And I was saying Cassandra uses this as well. She actually just uses the soap, but I, I keep this. Well, I have multiple products on my sink. So this is a foaming. I made it, and it's six ounces of water to two to three tablespoons of Dr. Bonner's Castile soap and just some essential oils. Uh, and so it's a foaming soap. you got to get a foaming top. And so I like to use this to, I know I have to wash off my moisturizer, but <laughs> I use this to wash my face. And... Um, Pretend this is a wet rag, which is totally not. And so I use this, when I'm in the shower, I still do use um, a castor oil cleanser, just when I'm taking a shower, sometimes, not all the time, maybe once a week tops, or minimum. So I wash my face, and then I still then use my same toner. A, a Castile soap um, can mess with the pH of your skin, so you really wanna use the toner to bring that pH back. Uh, and then I have this Smooth Skin Resurfacing Serum from Josie Marin. I love her skincare products. It's all natural. It doesn't, so many products, I've sensed this skin, so many products make my skin burn. And I've never had an issue with any of her products. And then I pick a moisturizer. Now I know she likes to layer upon layer upon layer. But again, it depends on your skin issues. This is the milk, and as soon as we get farther into the winter, I'll get a more, um, a thicker cream to use. So this one actually can be used during the day as well. It's so light, and I like to concentrate on getting it. I've seen the results for around the eyes, so I like to really concentrate it in those areas. And that's my nighttime. Now again, now that I've done the nighttime and my serum is on, I could be using this to like really make sure that the serum and the milk is getting into that under eye area or any other areas I want to concentrate. So I do think it's very interesting for the concept of getting product to go deeper into the skin. It's just not, uh, was not as important to me as kind of liking the skin brush. And, I'm, as you can see, I like a very simple routine. So me being like using both of these just would never happen. So anyway, that is my skincare. I'm giving you a little mm -hmm. review on using the skin brush or using this uh, roll-on, the little roller. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. And hopefully that's helped you make some decisions. Thanks for watching.